Hi buddies. Welcome to our channel, today we comes up with the interesting facts about DC Blue Beetle movie, lights, camera, action, it's time to discover the beauty of magical facts, frame by frame, another long-standing DC hero is making the jump to the big screen in 2023. The Blue Beetle movie stars Zolo Mariduena as Jamie Reyes, an ordinary teen who finds himself bonded to one of the most powerful artifacts in the DC universe with Blue Beetle hitting theaters in August 2023, now is the time to brush up on the character's long and surprisingly complicated history. Who is Jamie Reyes, aka Blue Beetle? Jamie Reyes is the third hero to call himself the Blue Beetle. Once an ordinary teenager from El Paso. TX, Jamie was inducted into a larger universe when the Blue Beetle scarab fused itself to his spine. This alien artifact gave him incredible powers, which Jamie uses to protect his family and the entire world from all manner of threats. Whether alone or fighting alongside groups like the Teen Titans, Blue Beetle is a powerful force for good, even if his scarab initially has darker motives, Blue Beetle's comic book origin, while the Blue Beetle character dates all the way back to 1939, Jamie Reyes himself didn't come along until 2006. He was introduced in 2006's Infinite Crisis No. 6, shortly after the death of the previous Blue Beetle, Ted Kord. Jamie unwittingly becomes the new Blue Beetle when he discovers the scarab and brings it home. Only to have it fused to his spine while sleeping. This rookie hero plays an important role in the events of Infinite Crisis, helping the Justice League track down and destroy the rogue satellite Brother Eye, Jamie quickly embraces his new role as a teen superhero, with his story continuing in the pages of the monthly Blue Beetle comic. Unlike characters like Spider-Man, he makes no effort to hide his secret identity from his parents. Not that he has much choice, as one of Jamie's early adventures causes him to spend an entire year away from Earth. It's hard to come up with a cover story for something like that. The new Blue Beetle quickly develops a rogues gallery of his own, battling various villains in service of the crime boss Ladama. He also comes into conflict with the Reach, an alien race who opposed the Green Lantern Guardians and who created the Scarab in the first place. The Scarab is revealed to be part of the Reach's plot to invade Earth, though due to its growing bond with Jamie it eventually develops a mind and personality of its own and breaks free of its programming. It even has a name, Kajida. Though DC eventually cancelled the Blue Beetle series in 2009, Jamie continued to play a role in books like Teen Titans and Justice League, Generation Lost. He also went on to star in two more short-lived monthly series in 2011 and 2016. The latter revamped the Blue Beetle mythos by more closely tying Jamie to his predecessor, Ted Kord, and revealing the Scarab to be magical in origin rather than extraterrestrial. Blue Beetle's powers and abilities, as Blue Beetle, Jamie Reyes is easily among the most powerful of DC's teen heroes, with his suit's abilities limited only by his lack of experience and confidence. The Scarab can summon a full bodysuit at will, greatly increasing Jamie's strength and durability. The suit can also transform itself, summoning all manner of weaponry like energy cannons, blades and shields. The suit also generates energy wings that grant Jamie both flight and added protection. On top of all of this, the Blue Beetle suit can manipulate energy and vibration to neutralize magic and make invisible objects visible, again, Jamie's own inexperience is the greatest hindrance to his powers, and early on he struggles to bond with the Scarab and realize his true potential. But over time, the two become a unified fighting force. In emergencies, Jamie can even activate infiltrator mode, which allows the scarab to take control of the suit and dispatch enemies with brutal efficiency. Picture Spider-Man's instant kill scene from Avengers, Endgame and you'll get the idea, Dan Garrett and Ted Kord, who are the other Blue Beetles, while Jamie Reyes has been the main focus of DC's Blue Beetle comics since his debut in 2006, the Blue Beetle franchise has a long history dating back to the early years of the comic book industry. And for much of that time, he wasn't even a DC character, Blue Beetle was originally created by Charles Nicholas Wojcicki in 1939's Mystery Men Comics No. 1, published by Fox Comics. That version of the character is Dan Garrett. 
A police officer who wears a bulletproof costume and takes a strength-enhancing drug called Vitamin 2X. The character proved popular enough to spin out into a radio serial, after Fox Comics went out of business in the 1950s, the Blue Beetle rights shifted to Charlton Comics. Charlton introduced a radically different version of Dan Garrett, now with two T's, in 1964, reinventing the character as an archaeologist who discovers a mystical scarab that grants him superhuman abilities. Charlton revamped Blue Beetle again in 1966, replacing Dan Garrett with Ted Cord. A student of Garrett's, Cord is a brilliant inventor who takes up the mantle after Garrett's death. He relies on his gadgets rather than the scarab to fight crime. Blue Beetle's movie debut, Jamie Reyes quickly branched out into various animated DC projects following his comic book debut, appearing in both shows like Young Justice and Justice League action and films like Teen Titans, The Judas Contract and Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. He even had a live-action appearance in Smallville, where he was played by Jaron Brandt. But only now is Blue Beetle appearing in a live-action film. The Blue Beetle movie stars Zolo Maraduena as Jamie Reyes, Bruna Marquezine as his love interest, Penny, Belisa Escobedo as his sister Milagros, George Lopez as his uncle Rudy and Raul Trujillo as the villain Carapax the Indestructible Man, following the example of DC's New 52 comics, the movie appears to be downplaying the elder Blue Beetles and focusing solely on Jamie. However, we do know that Susan Sarandon is playing a character named Victoria Cord, so Ted Cord could still enter the picture at some point. Now Blue Beetle will be hitting theaters on August 18, 2023. That's the end. Thank you for being a part of this incredible voyage with us. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you never miss an opportunity to dive into the captivating world of cinema.